Welcome. Welcome to The Late Show, everybody. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Now, folks, that's nice. That's like we've been on the road for the past week, and it's just great to be home, you know? Mm-hmm. There's nothing like the friendly confines. I'll tell you what, uh, speaking of traveling, uh, Donald Trump, remember him? Donald Trump <laughs> is on a trip to a very hostile region, New York City. <laughs> he's, he's... They love a hometown boy. He's in town. Because this morning, he gave his first official address at, I want to say, Starfleet Academy. (laughs) Radical Klingon extremists. They violated the neutral zone. We have no choice. (laughs) Of course, the president uh, gave a preview of his U.N. speech yesterday, telling reporters he plans to make the United Nations great. Not again. Make the United Nations great. (laughs) So, not hashtag MAGA, it's hashtag mung na mung. <laughs> That's the same thing. Mung na mung. Mung na mung. Mung na mung. Now, uh, it's no secret, Donald Trump has never liked the UN. He's been very clear about it. Back in 2012, he tweeted the cheap 12 inch square marble tiles. Behind speaker at UN always bothered me. I will replace with beautiful large marble slabs if they ask me. <laughs> They're not going to ask you. <laughs> you know what they talk about at the UN, right? <laughs> They're going to ask you to send soldiers to New Uganda, not sconces to the lobby. Of course, the U.N. was founded after World War II in hopes of creating a lasting peace. So, naturally, the highlight of the president's speech was threatening thermonuclear war. The United States has great strength and patience. But if it is forced to defend itself or its allies, we will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. And yes, yes, destroying North Korea would also destroy South Korea which is why I'm encouraging everyone in South Korea to evacuate to East or West Korea. (laughs) Immediately. And the I-O. And... (laughs) Trump doubled down on his new nickname for Kim Jong-un. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself and for his regime. Rocket Man? Mr. President, please don't give our enemies nicknames that make them sound cooler. I will destroy Commander Jetpack and Admiral Ice Cream Sex Machine. And Trump had a major complaint for the UN. We're not getting our money's worth. The United States is one out of 193 countries in the United Nations. And yet we pay 22% of the entire budget and more. The United States bears an unfair cost burden. But, to be fair, if it could actually accomplish all of its stated goals, especially the goal of peace, this investment would easily be well worth it. He's right. We're paying top dollar, and we're nowhere near world peace. I mean, I just saw some guy at the podium say he's going to destroy North Korea. (laughs) And... Donald Trump called on the world to look to America for inspiration. The greatest in the United States Constitution is its first three beautiful words. He's only read the first three words. (laughs) Let's see here. Let's see here. Okay. Is there... Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. We the people. How long is this? Is there an audio book or anything like that? I'll I'll paraphrase it later. Now, the most awkward moment had to have been when he brought up Venezuela. The problem in Venezuela is not that socialism has been poorly implemented, but that socialism has been faithfully implemented. I said faithfully implemented. Is this on? (laughs) 